Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of CPP4Beginners.com's continuing C++ tutorial series. This is going to be episode number 36, and this is going to be covering simple file input and output. Um, I've skipped this for quite a long time because, well, we really didn't need it. So, um, there will be times when you might want to do something with this. Uh, if you ever get into game development, you're going to be writing, you know, long series of strings uh, that are similar to this. So, with that said, let's talk a little bit about file out, input and output. Now, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with C out and C in by now. And what these actually are is sort of deceptively simple. C out simply means output to the console. C in means input from the console. So, you know, down here or in a DOS window, if you switched your project over to using uh, the external uh, console or terminal for that matter, you'll, you know, have uh, your C in, C out there. But if we want to use file input and file output, we use the fstream library. And the fstream library contains uh, a few different functions for us to use. Um, well, actually, it has a whole ton of functions, but we're really only going to go into two of them. We're going to talk about ofstream, and we're going to talk about ifstream. Now, when we do ofstream, what that means is output, file, stream, which means that we are going to be streaming some type of data out to a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to call it a f out. Um, again, this is creating an object, sort of like how string stream had ss, of stream has f out. Uh, we have to declare it, but f out is going to act the exact same as c out. And for uh, if stream or input file stream, we're going to make one called f in or file in. Again, very simple. Now, what I'm going to do here is show you guys that I have come prepared for a change. And I have taken the liberty of creating the Gettysburg Address. Um, I wrote it out. There are line breaks where the paragraphs go. Um, I actually do want to take off word wrap. So yeah, it is just three lines. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this file. Um, it's in c colon backslash tempo backslash gb dot text. And we're going to read that into the program. And we're going to do this in the absolute most basic way possible. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create something called care file name. And this is, uh, this is actually just sort of a little thing of mine. I like having the file name uh, as a character array. You don't have to do it this way. You can use a string. You can use whatever you want, really. I like using a character array. Um, you can C in for it, or you can do a C in dot get line, or you, you get the idea. Um, but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it outright, and I'm going to do, uh, C colon backslash backslash and we have to do two backslashes because backslash is an escape character tempo backslash gb dot text and so someone forgot their thing there so what we're going to do is we're going to type in fn dot open and then we're going to type in uh, file name. And what that's going to do is it's going to open the file in file name. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say while 
Um, we're going to need a string variable for this as well. So we'll say string str. And we'll say while uh, get line. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay, so what we're going to do here, I suppose, is use get line to figure out whether or not we're still within the file. Um, this isn't the easiest way to do things, but it's going to work out. So we're going to do fn string. And we're going to uh, come down here. And I want to explain this in detail. What this means is while this can happen, this string will continue going. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see out uh, string, and then we're going to add in a new line after every time string outputs. Because what we can be sure of, and I'm going to open this up, um, is when we're dealing with a, uh, a get line is that it's going to come and it's going to grab one line and that's it and then it's going to grab another line but it's not grabbing the new line characters as well because when it finds a new line that's it so at the end of a get line we need to add in our own uh, new line character. So in this case, for each time it iterates through this loop, we're going to be outputting the contents of the string that we're using with getLine, and we're outputting a new line character. So on our first run, um, oh, and I didn't escape that, so I didn't escape my second backslash there. And uh, what else? Oh, that's going to actually be treated as a string. Um, and use some quotation marks instead. And there you have it. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth this new continent, a new nation, yada, 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 yada. yada. And as you can see, nowhere in this 22 line program do we have any mention to forefathers or 87 years ago or anything like that we drew it all in from the file so I'm actually going to uh, to comment all of this out and I'm going to show you guys a quick example of F out um, and that is if I have the time to do so. Um, how am I doing for time? Ooh, almost 10 minutes. Okay, well, what we're going to do here then is we're just going to take some quick numbers. Uh, int i equals 0. Uh, no, i equals 102. Uh, j equals 405. Then we're going to say of stream f out like we had before. Then we're going to say, you know, I, sh I really should have just kept all this stuff right here. And now we're going to say f out dot open. Oh, and just huge thing that I left out here. Never forget your fn.close. So fout.open um, file name. And normally we'll always have a, a thing that tells us whether or not fout.open file name works. And we'll, you know, break the program if it doesn't. But in this case, we've skipped that. What we're going to do here is simply fout. Um, uh, I times J. And it works the same way as our normal 
cout function does. You'll see that there's no output to the console whatsoever, it just says run successful. But now the contents of GB are simply 102 multiplied by 405. All right, well, this has been simple input and output. We're going to get more into it. We're going to get more into reading uh, from a file. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that tomorrow or tonight. So I think that five or six videos should be enough for a day. I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, it has been a while, so I know I have a lot of catching up to do. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I am Damien. And hopefully this has been an informative and productive day for everyone. Please practice all these things that I've covered today. These are all relatively simple by themselves. But when you combine them all, it's a lot. And I understand that. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Uh, Reddit CPP for Beginners. You read it. Uh, or cpp4beginners.com are the best ways to get in touch with me. YouTube comments are extremely limiting. So with all that said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. See ya.